The Davies Orchard cottages have been a part of our community for uh, most of the last century. Currently Metro Vancouver has a rezoning application before Council to see about rezoning these cottages for strictly vacation rental use. We would like to find a resolution to this that includes the Bowen community and helps resolve our housing association and our housing problems here on the island by finding a partnership which works for the heritage interests, for Metro Vancouver Parks interests and for the community of Bowen Island in helping house our people. The following is a, a excerpts of the meeting pertaining to the rezoning application on, on Monday, June the 2nd. I hope you'll find it interesting. Thanks for supporting the Bowen Community Housing Association. And so uh, the following are some of the considerations we ask you to think about in regarding this application. And as Jason mentioned, uh, the draft affordable housing policy recommends that 15% of the floor space of all new developments be provided for affordable housing, all new developments, all rezoning applications. In this report, uh, in his report on the 28th, Jason stated, uh, I'm just going to quote here, it is staff's feeling that this the Metro Vancouver uh, rezoning application would not be a good time to use the draft affordable housing policy and his rationale for waiving the application of policy to Metro Vancouver was that it has been a generous community partner and the discounted price for which they allow the municipality to acquire the surplus lands has been acknowledged and certainly should be considered when reviewing this application and uh, we just want to ask that council um, ensure that there is an even playing field for all rezoning applications coming before council. Um, and we feel that Metro Vancouver should not get any kind of special treatment because they sold surplus lands at a quote or unquote discounted price to us. And the policy should be applied equally to all rezoning and development applications. I just want to ask, what are the benefits of providing short-term rentals for a few months of the year as opposed to housing people year-round that are going to be an integral part of the community? Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to ask that question. I mean, what's in it for Bowen Island? Okay. So how much revenue, can we ask that question, how much revenue is likely to be generated during the summer rental season, which we know is pretty short, as compared to the revenue generated from year-round residents who live here and buy at the store every day? So it's just a question to think about, like really how much benefit from revenue to the businesses will actually accrue. And Bowen businesses, as we know, estimate that at least 80 of the people needed to keep the businesses going here are in immediate need of affordable housing. Roger McGillivray, I live on Ferry uh, Road. Uh, when I first heard about the proposal, uh, I was strongly in support of it because I thought that it would uh, it would be a great thing for the retail businesses in Snug Cove. I thought that they would uh, they would really benefit from this. And uh, actually, as a member of the APC, I, I voted in favor of it at that time. I'm not speaking for the APC right now. I'm actually with the BCHA. Um, but I started to think about it more. And then after the word came out from the Chamber of Commerce that uh, that they figured between 80 and 100 units they were they were short that many units in order to have to be able to um, for the people to to live in, the, the work in, the restaurants and the retail businesses and so on in Stone Cove, uh, I thought, well, it just didn't make any sense to actually bring more customers in who are going to actually get poorer service in these stores because they're not going to be able to uh, to have the staff there to work there. So that was just a point about that I wanted to make because I changed my mind. <laughs> but I also want the, uh, the BCHA and, and myself who would like to know what Metro Vancouver's plans are. Uh, for that area, if the uh, if the application is is turned down, um, I want to know what's uh, what they're picturing happening there in the next few years if uh, if this doesn't happen. Tom Coleman from Metro Vancouver Parks. Um, Frank, we haven't got there yet. We don't know what we're going to do if this application doesn't go through. Uh, what we do know is that uh, we do need to generate some money to keep that place afloat. Um, uh, we don't envision anything drastic, let's put it that way. I mean, we've worked very hard and diligently with the people organization over the last number of years, since about 83, to, um, to restore those cottages. So um, the short answer is we don't know, but uh, certainly nothing dramatic is going to happen. The cottages are the last remaining stand of Union Steamship cottages anywhere in BC. 
they deserve to be saved just for that reason. We have managed to keep them standing for the most part. They're sinking slowly, some of them, but we've managed to keep them standing. At the moment, we're just concerned about saving the 10 cottages that we have. And so we have two. We can generate $1,000 a month for a year, for two years, from those two cottages. That money will be used directly to go back into doing more work for the other eight. We're not, not unaware of the fact that there's a need for affordable housing on Bowman for the businesses. We actually, we don't care whether the businesses make any money or not. What we need is a self-generating business model that will provide more funding. We only have two cottages available that we could use for rental accommodation. Um, it occurs to me that uh, there's an opportunity for a partnership between Bowen Community Housing and uh, the Heritage Preservation Group without uh, changing the zoning, since the zoning already allows for the individuals to live there. Um, their desire is to preserve the cottages. Our desire is to create affordable housing. We'd be happy to uh, raise the money and materials and labor to help preserve those cottages and see them rented to locals who need them. And I think uh, if the regional district doesn't like them being rented to locals, well, that's too bad. <laughs> but I would rather on a February night come in on the 8.30 or 7.30 ferry and see smoke coming out of chimneys in the orchard and know that people are living there rather than and we obviously need affordable housing. And the, the businesses, I, I go to the Ruddy, I like to go to the Ruddy. I like to have a beer at the pub. I like to uh, eat at the galley. I like to go to all the businesses. And, but they need employees. And where are, the, where are the employees going to live? We can't ignore that need. Uh, and the other thing is, and I like what somebody mentioned, I believe you did, about benefit. Who is to benefit from which way the decision? I don't, I came here very unprepared. I only learned about this virtually today. But I'm somehow suspicious about what this proposal is. And incidentally, the GBRD were not supportive of the cottages since 18, 1983. We formed the Heritage Society, in my living room, might I add, uh, to, as a, in an adversary relationship to stop the bulldozers. We didn't stop them all. But at any rate, um, the, who is to best benefit? Is it the people living on the island? Surely that's what this group is uh, concerned with benefiting the businesses so that they have places for their employees to live, uh, benefiting what I think the mandate of this organization is about a diversified community with, uh, for ages and, and, and artists and people of varying dispositions and incomes. Um, so who is to gain the most? I mean, what is it we really want for the island? But I think to have people living in the cove, and I think it's fabulous we save those cottages. It's a heritage landscape. It's very precious. I was just down there tonight watching a baseball game. Like, and the other thing is the beginning of like a motel. That's what it is. It's the beginning of a hotel motel scene. I don't trust it. And it's a slippery slope. And then now I hear it's for a huge, bigger area. I, um, who knows where that could lead? That's what I want to say. I'll bring it back to a uh, really foundation of what we came here for, and that is to ensure that there is an <coughs> even playing field for all applications for rezoning and development. We cannot treat Metro Vancouver differently simply because we got a good deal on the surplus lands, uh, and I just want to make sure that it's fair to everyone on board. The policy is the policy. It's the only way we can get affordable housing, the little bit that we've got. They've been houses for 40 years. Can we please play it, make an even playing field? That's what I'm asking for. If you'd like more information about what's going on with our housing association or you want to get more involved, please go to our website at www.bowenhousing.org. Thanks for your support.